Hey y'all, it's your girl Nita and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to remove your um, next gen dip nails at home. So as you can see, I've already got a couple of mine off and I've trimmed down the length of mine. I kind of tested this out a few nights prior to this point and um, wanted to make sure that this actually worked and it did. So what you're gonna need is a, a pair of um, nail clippers to trim down the length of your nails. This process also works as well for acrylics. So um, you don't have to trim down the length for the next gen, but I just, it was easier for me. You're gonna need some pure acetone. I actually ended up buying some salon quality acetone. I'll drop a link below where you can get it. And some hand files and a buffing block. I did the majority of my filing with a hand file and I also have a drill. So this is a Melody Susie drill. It was about 70 bucks off Amazon. They have a ton of drills for cheaper there. I'll drop the, li the link to this one and the link to a few others um, down below low but um i use majority the hand file to uh file the product down and then i went in with my drill to uh, get the rest of it so you're gonna need some drill bits if you are gonna use a drill and um, some of these drill bits are from markart and they were pretty cheap off amazon as well i'll drop a link i am going to be using these little plastic uh tip thingies where you put them on your nails and um, with a cotton ball and acetone and soak them off this is what my um nail tech in the salon uses here are the two drill bits that i'm going to use one of them is a ceramic thunder bit and the other one is just a coarse safety bit um i ended up not using the ceramic um thunder bit because that one is a little weird i've used it before and i i didn't really like it it's it's kind of hard to control for some reason so i'll mostly be using uh when i do use my e-file the coarse drill bit so I also have here a sanding band. This comes standard with all of the um, drills that you buy on Amazon, like a set of them comes, but I didn't really need it. So I'm just using my, e my hand file right now and I'm just going to be filing down the surface of the nail, debulking all that product. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. And the same thing for acrylics. Like the biggest thing you need to do is you need to debulk the product and you need to get as close as you can to your natural nail without getting like directly on your natural nail because girl that burns um same thing with the e-file like if you get too close to your natural nail with the e-file you can end up burning yourself getting in the ring of fire um with the hand file you have a little bit more room to play with but you can definitely file way too far down to the nail plate with one of these so now I'm going in with my coarse safety bit and the safety bit has a rounded edge so that way you don't scratch up your cuticles. It took me a while to like get the positioning right and you kind of see here where I'm like fumbling my hand around but finally I do get it right. And um, yeah, as you see here, like the majority of the product, I was able to get off with just a nail file. So you really don't need a drill but I just wanted to make this process much easier quicker and simpler for myself so I got a drill also disclaimer I am not a licensed nail tech I am not a professional what I did here is I just followed all of the steps my nail tech does whenever she is removing one set to put on another set and also I watched a ton of videos on YouTube on how to do this and I just thought it would be kind of cool to share it with you guys and you know document it so y'all can see how I did it for myself so here I have debulked the product quite a bit and you really want to get it to a really good thin layer so that way it doesn't take a million years to soak off the majority of the debulking I did I did with my hand file versus the e-file and that's what you want if you're not a professional because handling the e-file too much and you don't exactly know what you're doing can be quite dangerous for your nails. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to saturate my cotton balls with some acetone and then I'm going to apply them over the nail and then clip my little tip soaker thingies over that and then I'm gonna let them sit for about 20 minutes.
I believe after about 15 minutes, I checked on them, uh, especially the nails that I got the most product off and was able to see that either they needed a little bit more time to soak or if I was able to just rub off the remaining product with a little bit of acetone. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of file and buff the nails. I'm getting off the any excess product left over that's not going to soak off. And uh, this buffer has several different sizes. So there's like a really fine grit um, filing side. So that way you can lightly file the top of your natural nail. There is the buffing shine side as well so um, it's got like a seven step process and this came in uh, the box with my little soaking tips I believe it's from the brand model ones I will uh, drop the link down below in the description box everything I use today will be linked down in the description box Here's what the nails look like after I've filed off any extra product. And now I'm just gonna go up in with my um, cuticle remover and clean up my cuticles. Um, I got this one from Target. It's the brand is uh, Sally Hansen. And this is just my uh, cuticle scraper thingy. And I bought this from Amazon as well. You wanna go in with really light pressure. It looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure because I sped up the clip, but I went in with really light pressure to just pull up, you know, or push up any of the um, cuticles just push it back I mean and um, it with that cuticle remover you let it sit for like 15 seconds and it really does a great job like all of this just gunk just lifts up with no problem So after cleaning up my cuticles, I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm going to be taking this Sally Hansen Argan Oil uh, cuticle oil and I'm going to be putting that on my cuticles. After I've rubbed the product in, I'm going to be taking this Sally Hansen um, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear clear polish and I'm just going to be putting that on over my nails I just kind of wanted to have something on there um, a couple days later I went in and trimmed down all of the nails that were just uneven and because I had a lot of like uneven growth because they had grown out really long and then I had trimmed them the ones that I took off prior to doing all this down and then I had a few that broke so I just the lengths were all over the place and I was like you know what let me just trim it so it all looks uniform and it all looks cute I just didn't think to do it at this point when I was sitting here like doing my nails but the next day I went in and I took the clear polish off and I trimmed them down All right, so after the clear polish is all dry, I'm all done. And this is it, guys. This took me about like two hours and it took me a little longer than it had before because I was filming it. So that always slows me down. But yeah, this is how you take off your dip nails at home. I hope this helps somebody out. Definitely watching the videos that I did really helped me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below so that way you can always be notified whenever I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.